Tom Clancy's The Division 3 is finally here. Ubisoft has just made this official announcement. Just a few minutes ago, the official Massive Entertainment's Twitter account has revealed that they are working on the third installment for The Division franchise. And one of the best news ever is that Julian Garetti is going to be back and he's going to be appointed as the executive producer for Tom Clancy's The Division brand. Now, Julian is basically going to take over the entire project production of the division three which is going to be led by massive entertainment and for those of you guys who don't know who julian is he is the guy behind the first ever division game from division one division two and now julian has also been working on ubisoft's upcoming star wars open world game called star wars outlaws and here ubisoft has given us some very interesting and intriguing information here of when the division three is going to be officially released now take a look at the official article that was posted on the official Ubisoft website where they now say that Julian has been appointed as executive producer for the Division brand once again and he will be making a move once the upcoming game Star Wars Outlaws is finally shipped which means that Division 3 is going to be releasing after the upcoming open world Star Wars game because now it seems like Julian is working hard on getting the Star Wars game out and Ubisoft is already on a tight schedule with Assassin's Creed Mirage and then the Star Wars game and then plenty of other games that they're working on including the mobile games that they've just released for Assassin's Creed Jade as well as the Resurgence Division game that is coming out for the mobile version. Ubisoft has also announced that they're going to be releasing a free-to-play The Division game that is going to be available on all the platforms from PS5 to Xbox Series X to PC versions and the game is going to be cross-platform play which will basically enable all of the players around the world and as of now I think Massive Studios are going to be focused focusing on their upcoming Avatar Frontiers of Pandora game which is going to be releasing on December 7th and then they're also going to be releasing the Star Wars game and that is when we're going to be getting an official gameplay trailer or maybe a cinematic trailer first for the upcoming The Division 3. Now if you know me I started off my channel with The Division game I'm a huge fan of Tom Clancy's The Division game both the games part one and part two were just amazing man. Now I know that a lot of people were let down in terms of how the E3 demo looked and once the final product released there was a lot of disappointment because Ubisoft just falsely advertised it just seemed like the game had some very incredible graphics and then when the game came out it was not really matching the expectations of what players were looking for but nonetheless it seems like the Division 2 did get a lot of things straight and Ubisoft did do an amazing job with the Tom Clancy's The Division 2 game I've spent almost 400 hours into Division 2 and I'm super excited for the part three as well and what's incredible is that now that we have playstation 5 and some of the next gen technology graphics cards and all that stuff i think that whatever kind of a graphics integration that ubisoft is trying to put in to make this game look as good as what the first game's e3 trailer looked or even better than that is actually finally possible now because we now have the technology in order to run games that are super high quality and has some very high graphics as well so i'm super excited to see what what they're going to be coming up with let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this have you guys played division one and two if yes then let me know in the comments what are your opinions now one thing i really hated about the division two is that the pvp aspect of that game in terms of dark zone was very limited in terms of how many players can enter into the dark zone and that was probably because a lot of players were griefing about really op players having a higher ground because you know they could just blast you through the dark zones and players are new to the game they couldn't really just play the game but i guess that since it's an rpg mmo game because if you want to get better at the game then you should go ahead grind the dark zones and grind the entire game get better gears and that is when you enter the dark zone it's supposed to be one of the most horrific places in the game so i hope ubisoft keeps it as good as what they did with the first division game because all the players in the dark zone are going to be almost exactly the same build as you so it's not really that fun to be honest and if you guys have haven't tried the division game i would honestly recommend you guys to go ahead and give it a shot because this is the perfect mmorpg game that i personally have played i've played a lot of mmorpg games but the division always has my heart and i just can't wait to see with the division 3 man and what kind of a setting they're going to be working on i really hope they take the game all the way to new mexico have some kind of a mexican vibe added to the game or maybe it's not even going to be america there could be some other place who knows maybe they just go to europe 
Europe and we try to explore different locations like that. So all of these different locations like Assassin's Creed games has like different timelines and locations. If the division could also achieve something similar to that, that would actually make a lot of sense as well. Now let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about the division three and of course if you guys are looking for a youtube channel that always keeps you guys updated with the division three news updates gameplays and all that stuff then this channel is going to be your number one stop shop so make sure that you guys are subscribed now if you guys are also looking for a channel that covers all the news updates leaks informations gameplays reveals trailers and all the stuff basically all the news that you guys need about upcoming open world games then this channel is going to be the perfect one as you guys can get updated with all the latest stuff every single day so make sure that you guys don't miss out on all of the amazing open world games content right here so make sure to go ahead subscribe to the channel turn the notifications on and set your notification settings to all so that you guys don't miss out on any of the upcoming daily videos now with that being said if you guys are excited for the division 3 and also want to support this channel please make sure to go ahead take a few seconds of your valuable time and drop a like on this video it really helps me out as a creator it helps the videos it helps the channel so your support ladies and gentlemen it really means a lot to me so if you guys could just go ahead show your boy some love that would really mean a lot to me and with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and uh, goodbye